Hello everybody, Anthony from SteamFirst.com here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Jazz Punk. Jazz Punk is a new indie game that came out on Steam a little while back, and it is everything that's great about a game. It has jokes and references and great soundtracks and great level and character design, great missions and a great story. And a great everything. Now one of the best, best, best things about this game, the thing that makes this game this game, is the humor. Or some of the just a hilarious slew of secrets and gags and easter eggs and extras and, and that are included in the very short but amazing levels. Now it's, it's one thing to actually tell a joke. Like one game I remember in particular that's really big for um, like jokes and humor was Portal 2. But that was just like a puzzle game that had jokes. But this game, it's, it's, it's different to actually force a player to play through a joke instead of just telling it. So basically when you're playing this game, you, it turns you into a comic actor is essentially it. And then with the atmosphere of it being a 1960s spy story type film, as you could easily tell by, well, one, the introduction, which I showed before this all happened, by the story and atmosphere of it. Uh, so it it takes it, it takes a jab at just what it means to be serious, I suppose. And it's also based. I think the I think the purpose of this game was to see just how much wackiness you could fit into one one hour long game, and that that makes it great. Uh, just in the one, like the levels are super super short. The entire game is super super short. But in these super super short levels, you can go ahead and if you know what you're doing, you can, you can complete each each stage and. A few in a few seconds even if you really knew what you were doing but there's so much extra so many extras you could do like all the different mini games they have like I think at one level the um I know for one the resort level there was a Street Fighter type game where you destroy you know, a Toyota there was an old there's a thing where you have to go on the beach with a metal detector and find like items there was uh, a wedding quake mini game which was like a multiplayer quake thing where you are in a wedding scene and you use champagne bottles to blow corks at your enemies. Um, in the very first level, one of the side quests has you taking pigeons and spraying pigeon juice on people, and the pigeons all fix themselves to a whoever you decide to spray the pigeon juice on. And if that's not enough for you, there's um the the mailboxes talk apparently, <laughs> and that that's great. Humor is definitely the heart of this game. It's <laughs> it, it's really not hard, not hard to to toss an old laugh when you're spraying cheese into into an old Englishman's mouth, into an old proper spectacle wearing, suit wearing, cane using old proper English gentleman, or even when you're like spraying pigeon juice on people it's really hard not to laugh in these situations there was one that really got me when you're in the very first level to infiltrate the soviet um the soviet lab you you can sit down on the copy machine and make photocopies of your butt and use it to gain access to the rest of the building to actually escape and i think that's just hilarious it also features some retro 3 mini games modeled after some of the classic 16 and 8 bits um it throws a kind of an added variety into this crazy, absurd mixing pot of epicness. And they're entertaining. Um, I mean, it's a nice little addition to the game. Makes it, you know, a little bit more, a little longer, more playable. Adds some variety. But um, these are just kind of type of interruptions where really, really, really thin in the final, uh, I guess, boss battle of the game when you have to play through a bunch of really dull mini games I mean sure this is one of the games where they actually kinda of tie into the story progression but you're playing like mini golf with a pool cue and racing gravy boats it, 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 it's really 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 obvious that the humor and substance have kinda of waned a little bit I mean, the very ending of the game has you going through a alligator's digestive system. If that doesn't actually 
kind of sum it up for you enough. That's really all I needed to say. This could have been like a 30 second video. Um, I don't want to throw any spoilers out there and I don't really want to, uh, you know, go much, much into it just because the game is so short that it's super easy to, uh, to toss some spoilers out there. But if slaying mechanical pigs with a six string ukulele that you obtained from a crazy conspiracy theorist who lives at the bottom of a pool in a Chinese or Hawaiian uh, beach resort, and then cooking it in a, on a spit in front of the hotel, and making photocopies of buttockses, and playing mini golf with pool cues, and spraying pigeon juice on people, and um, you know destroying people with pool with a uh, champagne corks, then this game is for you. Because it's, it all gets tied in with a 1960s spy movie type ordeal, which is great. Now, of course, if you guys want to check this game, the link will be in the description. Mine is Anthony from SteamFirst.com. If you like this video, perhaps you like some of my other content, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, which is down in the description yet again, as well as my live stream. I will be live streaming research for future Steam First videos, as well as some Hearthstone Ladder Climb. Be sure to check out SteamFirst.com for all the best news, reviews, videos, and all things surrounding Valve and Steam. Thanks again.